welcome to another edition of Coach's Corner. I wanted to go ahead and go over this chart with you. A lot of times people will go and ask me, I don't know what to eat. I really don't know how to go and portion my foods outright. I don't know how to go and make better choices, especially when they first come to me. So this is a good chart to use just as a general rule of thumb so that you can make efficient choices and also feed yourself properly. A lot of people think that when you go and you have a weight loss journey or if you're trying to go and get to a certain goal that you have to forcibly starve yourself. That's not the truth at all. In actuality, you actually have to feed yourself more and more. So as we can see here in the plate, we have organic proteins, non-starchy vegetables, low glycemic carbs, and then healthy fats. Then some water. So the first thing I'll start off with is water. When you are consuming water throughout the day, you want to make sure that you have clean water, of course, half your body weight in ounces daily. I tell this to everybody all the time. You need water because if not, you will not move the minerals, the nutrients inside of your body. Another thing, if you look down here at the composition of the types of foods that you need, you will also need to understand the breakdown of what's what. So as you look here, you can see the vegetables. Vegetables are gonna be a good combination of leafy greens and other types of vegetables that are slightly prebiotic in their nature. In other words, they're gonna go and help you get fiber into your diet so that you can process and remove any excess waste, etc. So leafy greens, red cabbage, carrots, red bell peppers, broccoli, spinach, kale, onions, cucumbers, cauliflower, asparagus, eggplant, zucchini, and beets. So this should be about 40% of your intake for that meal. We move on to proteins, proteins in the red. The meat should be about 30% of your meal for that day or for that portion. So we're looking at grass-fed, if at all possible, okay? Uh, we wanna make sure that if you have eggs, right? Well, wild salmon, uh, beef, any type of venison, chicken, turkey, 30%, that's what you're shooting for, about that much on your plate, okay? When you're looking at fat, you wanna go and make sure that you have at least 15% healthy fat. One of the favorite things that I will tell people to have is avocado, because it's great for your skin, especially if you are a woman. Any type of raw dairy, if you do not have a dairy sensitivity, flax seeds, pumpkin seeds, almonds, pecans, cashews, and coconut milk. And then we'll go ahead and look at the carbs. A lot of people think that they have to avoid carbohydrates when they are on a weight loss plan or anything like that, which in reality, it's not true at all. You need carbohydrates because carbohydrates will actually help with the processing of healthy fats and proteins. So you need your carbohydrates. And just in case you didn't know, vegetables are also carbohydrates. I had someone come over and tell me one time that they were on a no carb diet, but they were eating a ton of vegetables. They need to read a science book. Anyways, coming back here, carbohydrates about 15%, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, apples. If you're eating beans, make sure that they are soaked really well and that you do cook them very well so that you do not have any gas. Make sure that you have some sort of kidney beans, some black beans or garbanzo. And lastly, if you're gonna have gluten-free grains, sweet potatoes, quinoa, make sure you wash your quinoa real well, brown or wild rice. All right, so I wanted to take a moment here to go over this. If you have any questions or concerns, you can reach me at fitnesscoachingcentral.com. Also, subscribe to my newsletter and YouTube channel, and we will talk soon. Have a great day.